Welcome to Why Your Control and Action Names Matter. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, today's video is just going to be a quick one. It's on the topic of how you're naming your control names, how you're naming your actions. Um, and you could argue that does it matter because those names are never surfaced to anybody, uh, at least not to end users. But it actually do matter. Um, and just to here, let me let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So here is an whatever app, um, and I have a uh, a cart, and there's a group, and I call this one Group One. And maybe uh, I had a group because whoa, you know, I want to do Group Two. And and that's fine, but the challenge is that you know group one and group two are actually surfaced uh, in some cases, and um, and it's perhaps easier if I if I show you some of those cases. Um, so here's the first one. This is actually so I'm just going to use a couple of my own apps uh, because they happen to actually use this. Uh, this is from uh, from. The, the simple object designer where people can right now we have created a field called decimal test on on the customer table and end users can now select where to surface this field in, in the ui um, so let's say that we want it on the customer statistics page um, and we want it to be at before something so we go and look what uh, what that something can be and now we see control names that are basically just name of global variables. Uh, some of them are even, let's see if we can make this wider. No, some of them are even the, the formula. Uh, I am I'm nice enough in, in the case of the simple object design to say, okay, this field is sitting in a parent call this period, this year, and so on. So you might have an idea of what it is but inverse amounts lcy one two three and four um uh, profit percentage one two three four this period just the cost lci this period adjust the profit so these names are way better right this actually kind of makes sense uh but the name of a uh, a global variable uh or even better when it says just says control because it does not have a a meaningful name, then it's come super hard to uh, to figure this out. I think I had another example here. Um, uh, we got control names. We got something that you know names that make sense, and then we get something with a minus in front, the name, and not in front. So so. Again, very internal number of docs, one, 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 two, one, two, three. So clearly something is populating this array. Um, but even with the help, it, it's kind of hard to figure out which one is with without having to go and run the page and, and, and do all that. Um, text zero, zero, zero. Um, but you can give stuff good names. Um, and especially, actually, you see if I do a, an at first, just, I'm not just using the cost of my interest statistic page again here. Um, oh, these are surprisingly, oh, those are actually, uh, that's a bad example. These are good, you see, these are, these are useful, uh, but but clearly there there is a parent that has a funky name here. Um, another example, another one of my apps, the Advanced Cloud Security. Um, these are actions, and and I think we are applying security on a on on an action here. Let's do it on the customer card. Um, and so most of those action makes super sense. Uh, and then we got action 76. Right. Why do we have action 76? That happens to be statistics. Uh, that, that's the caption on this action. But 
Why? And and I know. So here's the thing. I know that some of these are leftovers from old days converting this from a, from a version of of NAV where some of these things not even, did not even have a name exposes just like an internal control uh, number or something like that. Um, I think well, I, I, there was another one of these here, Action 27 currencies. Um, but my point is, uh, and, and uh, I'll try to keep it short, is that the names you give stuff in here do matter. Uh, now I showed you two cases where where end users or super users will encounter them. Uh, if somebody else is you know taking a dependency to your app and creating a base extension, and and want to do a uh, at first at after and and then you see the names in here. That's all you see. Uh, so if we go and create a new file says here page extension uh, extends uh, customer statistics and we go layout and we say add after and and we see these things here and it's really really hard to to figure out which one is actually the one where we want uh, without spending a lot of time going okay so we select one and then we go and hit f12 then we see that uh, specify your extended service income from customers you buy based on unpaid services invoices that not necessarily that long but but um Maybe this is wrong. That was probably wrong because the word was actually good here. But let's navigate down to satisfy the original cost that was associated with the salesman that were originally posted. Well, that's probably better than the formula itself. Um, I'm trying to locate one of the nasty ones here. And here, we got another one where it's just, you know, at some point Microsoft just took this one, put quotes around it, and that became the control name. Uh, and I know this is the result of a data conversion, but but still, you look at this thing, huh, that's the way Microsoft does it, so maybe I should do the same. No, you shouldn't. Uh, give your control name something that makes sense, uh, because people will see them in uh, no, as a list like this if they want to want to uh, extend your app or end users will see it like if I go here and see cause I, well, I took the customer card here let's move to grab another one uh, uh, Maybe I need to do statistics, customer statistics, right? Then to see all these things. So name your control names and action names, something that makes sense. Uh, don't look at these old converted weird pages from Microsoft. Uh, use good names, make your fellow developers your, your uh, savvy end users and, and super users uh, happy by and maybe even you know bringing a bit of clarity to your code uh, and make it easier to people to understand what, what you're doing so that's uh, today's uh, al uh, tips and tricks uh, you need more check this video out it's a good one i'll see you there take care bye